Hello! First time entering theatrical cut in my own video review, isn't it? <laughs> For today's video, I just got done watching Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, guys. The seventh installment of the Mission Impossible franchise, it, it is a Part 1. And with this film falls, Ethan Hunt and the IMF team must track down a terrifying new weapon that threatens all of humanity if it falls into the wrong hands. Not even the whole team can take on against this kind of threat and not even Ethan can face against this oneself, an AI being. And that's the whole story of the movie. I'm giving you my non-spoiler review for the movie and the film is absolutely incredible as i said in my mission impossible fallout video the franchise gets better and better after ghost protocol you know before dead reckoning part one comes out in theaters i was worried that this franchise will go out jumping the shark but thanks to christopher mcquarrie's amazing directing and excellent storytelling they do not whatsoever and just keeps getting better and better but I'm not ready to say this is the best Mission Impossible movie yet because I would like to see how part 2 plays out but in a lot of different ways if part 2 is the best finale if they come out with a good reception I think part 1 is such a great setup for the part 2 maybe we'll start making part 2 in future projects uh, because I would say Dead Reckoning part 1 is such an amazing film that I think you should definitely go see it and, and yes I have no words of watching whatever I've seen that film it is absolutely worth watching. It's one of the best action movies of all time. Alongside John Wick Chapter 4. So let's rate this movie. And this film proves that it's one of the best films in the franchise that you should choose to accept. Okay, so for Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, I'm giving the action 4.5 stars. The action itself is the major reason why the film is so enjoyable. The stunts are incredibly well choreographed and executed. And they're always exciting to watch. You know, that's how Mission Impossible franchises are known for. The action is very grounded and realistic. No CGI or shaking cam to take you out of the moment. And yeah, they are very flashing. And they are very exciting. One thing that I really like the action sequences is Tom Cruise being Tom Cruise. Like the motorcycle cliff. You know what? That scene, the motorcycle putting over the cliff is one of the most dangerous stunts. And yeah, it was so refreshing. I really like that. And not to mention the airport scene, the car chase scene in Rome, the sword fight scene between Ilsa and Gabriel, also two versus one Ethan take on against a uh, one guard in Paris, and the train sequence that really called back to the first Mission Impossible film. The action sequences in this movie are the main reason why it was so rewatchable and blood pumping at the same time. The comedy of the movie, I'm giving it three stars. There are a few moments that will definitely make you laugh. There's a scene where Ethan is handcuffed to Grace and they have to drive a car through a crowded city. It's holy shit. And also, Benji, I love that dude. He deserves a spotlight. Story of the movie, I'm giving it four stars. It's amazing. A very ambitious story that tries to do a lot of things. He introduces new characters, explores Ethan Hunt's past, and sets up a major future for the part two. It's not convoluted, but it's not perfect because I don't like the way that Spoiler alert, Ilsa Faust dies. Suspense of the movie? Come on, no question. It's top notch, full of entropy moments that will keep you guessing until the very end. Several sequences that are particularly suspenseful. The stakes are always high, you really feel the characters are in danger, which makes the suspense even more intense, and the action is always unpredictable, and the film does a great job of building tension. So I'm giving the suspense 5 stars. In pacing, I'm giving it 4 stars. It moves at a brisk pace, never feels slow or boring. I really like that some of the action sequences are well paced and exciting. They're not too long or too short. They always keep the viewer on the edge of their seat. And lastly, it spent enough time developing some of the characters. It does not make it difficult to care about these. For casual fans in the Mission Impossible franchise, I'm giving it S. For moviegoers slash cinephiles, I'm giving it S. And critically, I'm giving it S. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 is such a worthy addition to the Mission Impossible franchise. I'm super excited for the Part 2 and see how it plays out. If it's going to be the best finale, I will be very satisfied. So as for now, Part 1 is a great film. Some action sequences are really iconic. Tom Cruise is clearly still in peak physical form and he brings his 
You show a level of commitment to the role. And you got some amazing storytelling, great pacing, thanks to Christopher McQuarrie. Well, it's not perfect because I don't like the way the second act plays out. But in a lot of different ways, I think it's the new great Mission Impossible film. While Fallout is still the best Mission Impossible film, I think this one you should definitely add it to your Mission Impossible franchise collection. That's one of the greatest. I'm giving it 9 over 10. A film that you should definitely accept as Sonic Frozen fan, guaranteed.